Dear brother or sister, if you're watching this video, it's likely that you're struggling with the guilt and shame of having committed zina. In Islam, zina can refer to several forms of sexual behavior that are considered to be in violation of Allah's law. The following are some of the types of adultery that are forbidden in Islam. Zina, sexual intercourse between a man and a woman that is not legal according to Sharia law, such as sexual intercourse outside of marriage. Homosexuality, which is sexual intercourse between two people of the same sex. Masturbation, which is an independent sexual activity performed by self-stimulation until reaching orgasm. Pornography, which is watching or distributing pictures or videos containing sexual scenes. Flirting and seducing the opposite sex with indecent words or behavior. Sexual intercourse with animals or zoophilia. Fornication, which is sexual intercourse between family members that is not legal according to Sharia law. Rape, which is the act of forcing sexual intercourse. All of these forms of adultery are considered violations of Allah's law and are forbidden in Islam. As Muslims, we must stay away from these behaviors and protect ourselves from temptations that can destroy our morals and morality. But I want to remind you that Allah is the most forgiving, and His mercy is boundless. No matter how big our sins may seem, Allah is always ready to forgive us if we turn to Him with a sincere heart. Allah says in Surah Az-Zumar verse 53, Say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves, by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. This verse is a reminder to us that no matter how far we have strayed from the path of righteousness, Allah is always ready to forgive us. It is up to us to turn to Him with a sincere heart and seek His forgiveness. The first step towards seeking forgiveness is to acknowledge our mistake and take responsibility for our actions. It takes courage to admit to our faults and seek help, but this is an essential step towards healing and moving forward. The second step is to seek forgiveness from Allah. Allah's mercy is endless, and He will forgive those who sincerely seek His forgiveness. Take the time to reflect on your actions, ask for forgiveness with a humble and sincere heart, and turn to Allah for guidance and support. The third step is to seek forgiveness from the person you have wronged, if applicable. This may be a difficult and uncomfortable step, but it is essential for healing and moving forward. Make amends and seek forgiveness, and work towards repairing any harm that was caused. Remember that seeking forgiveness is not just about saying sorry. It is about making a genuine effort to right the wrongs that were done. We must take steps to avoid repeating the offense. Identify the triggers or underlying issues that led to the Xena, and take steps to address them. Seek counseling, build a support network, and strengthen your faith. May Allah guide us all towards the path of righteousness and forgiveness. Amin.